Hello, everybody. How are you all today? Okay, great. Did you all have a good long weekend? Yeah? Okay, I'm so glad. Did any of you see any fireworks? Okay, yeah, some of you. I didn't see any. I heard some. And that was about it. Yeah, we heard maybe a very, very tiny bit, but yeah, did not see any. Maybe we'll see some on Canada Day. What do you think? Yeah, me too. Fingers crossed, okay? Yeah! <laughs> All right, so we are back today, and I have a book that I have been waiting for for, oh my goodness, probably close to three months now. I've been waiting for this book to come, and it finally came, and I'm so happy. All right, so let's get started. The book is called The Incredible Book Eating Boy. It's a lot of fun. All right, let's get started. Henry loved books, but not like you and I love books, no. Not quite. Henry loved to eat books. It all began quite by mistake one afternoon when he wasn't paying attention. See right there? He's not paying attention at all. He's watching the cat poop. <laughs> and he licked his book instead of his popsicle. He wasn't sure at first and tried eating a single word, just to test. Next, he tried a whole sentence and then the whole page. Yes, Henry definitely liked them. By Wednesday, he had eaten a whole book. And by the end of the month, he could eat a whole book in one go. The Incredible Book-Eating Boy. Henry loved eating all sorts of books. Storybooks, dictionaries, atlases, joke books, books of facts. Even math books. But the red ones were his favorite. And he was going through them at a fierce rate. Wow, look at that. But here is the best bit. The more he ate, the smarter he got. The, the book goes in. The information goes to his brain and his brain gets bigger and his belly gets full. He ate a book about goldfish and then he knew what to feed Ginger. See, ginger is the name of his goldfish. Before long, he could do his father's crossword in the newspaper. Hmm, his dad is stuck on a question. Henry knows the answer. He says, monumental. And he was even smarter than his teacher in school. You go, 
And if any of you guys out there know some other Oliver Jeffers books, he's planning his trip to the moon in his rocket ship. If you guys know how to catch a star. Mm -hmm. Henry loved being smart. He thought that if he kept going, he might even become the smartest person on Earth. There he is daydreaming about becoming the smartest person on Earth and winning this big medal. Do you guys like being smart? Yeah, you do. It's great. Being smart is very fun. So he kept eating books. And he kept getting smarter. And smarter. Look, he's on the quiz show and he is winning. His answer there is polar bears. And smarter. Whoa, look how many books he's eating. He went from eating books whole to eating them three or four at a time. Books about anything. Henry wasn't fussy and he wanted to know it all. But then things started going not quite so well. In fact, they started going very, very wrong. Henry was eating too many books and too quickly at that. Oh no, he's having nightmares about a book eating him. He, the book says, I'm going to eat you. <sighs> and Henry was beginning to feel a little ill. He bite. Chew. 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 Gulp. Mmm, green. Greener. Greenest. Uh-oh. You see that? Yep, he's sick. But here is the worst bit. Everything he was learning was getting mixed up. Six plus two equals three. Oh no, that's wrong. Two plus six equals elephant? Uh-oh, that's very wrong. He didn't have time to digest it properly. It became quite embarrassing for him to speak. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do Suddenly, Henry didn't feel very smart at all. I know, I know, miss, miss, me, me, I know, I know, pick me. And poor Henry, he doesn't know at all. He's just sitting there. More than one person told him he should stop eating books. No more books, says his father. Your head and belly can't take it, says the doctor. Besides, it means no one else can enjoy them, says the book in his imagination. You owe a total of... Uh-oh. Librarian. Henry owes a lot of money. <sighs> so... Henry gave up eating books and sat sadly for a long time. What was he to do? Then, after a while and almost by accident, Henry picked up a half-eaten book from the floor. But instead of putting it in his mouth, Henry opened it up. 
and began to read. And it was so good. Henry discovered that he loved to read, and he thought that if he read enough, he might still become the smartest person on earth. It would just take a bit longer. Now, Henry reads all the time, although every now and then, See the incredible broccoli eating boy? Yeah. What? There's something wrong with my book. What do you mean? Oh. Oh. What? There. There's a bite out of my book. The back pages. What? One, two. And the back cover. Did you guys see who bit it? Did you do it? No. <gasps> do you think that Henry ate my book? You do? Oh no, guys, it's a red one. It's Henry's favorite. <gasps> oh. I think Henry had a little nibble. You guys are right. He had a little nibble of my book. <sighs> that Henry. Oh, well. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this book. Make sure Henry doesn't get it anymore, right? <laughs> yeah. What a silly guy. All right, well, I hope that you guys enjoyed the book today. Oh, great, you did. Now, have any of you ever tried eating books? Mm-hmm. Some of you? A lot of babies do it. They nibble on their books. Yeah. You should ask your mummies and daddies if you guys ate any of your books when you were little. Or if you have any little brothers or sisters there. See if they put the books in their mouth. Maybe they'll become book-eating boys and girls just like Henry. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm going to be back here tomorrow at 4.30. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun with you and I'm so happy that I got to finally share this book with you. I just find that it's so much fun. All right. Have a wonderful night. Mwah. Thank you for joining me. Bye. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.